Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is on a quest to find out who he is by finding his biological family in the TLC docuseries, Long Lost Family. The third season premiered last night. Let's take a look. On my adoption papers that my mother's listed as Caucasian and my father's listed as Caucasian. And it says for me on my paperwork that I too am Caucasian. That's confusing. I was in fourth grade and I can remember holding this paperwork to the boys at school and showing them, see, look, I'm white. I'm like you. Mm. My God. My, my, my. Please welcome to Sister Circle, Christian Thrasher. Yay. Christian. <laughs> my God, that was so powerful. Um, I read a little bit of your story, and I understand even going to school, you were called the N-word. You were the only African-American person in your whole city, in your entire town? Yeah, in my entire town. I was the only one that looked the way that I did, so... How was it growing up? How, how was it for you growing up? Well, I definitely felt different, you know? I, I felt like I didn't fit in. Um, everywhere I looked, I didn't see anyone that looked like me. Correct. So, yeah, it was, it was really weird. I mean, I can remember the day where I was, what I was doing, uh, when the second child of color moved into my town. My I, I remember like it was yesterday. I remember the bike he was riding, what he was wearing. I mean, because it was such an amazing thing to have someone look like me mm -hmm. in my town now. And I could um, assume you guys became really good friends. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, I ran right up to him. Right. You know? <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, someone like me. Do you remember the conversation and how old you were and where you were when you found out that you were adopted? Mm. You know, there really wasn't a conversation. It wasn't like my parents had a sit-down conversation with me because I looked different. So it was as early as I can remember I knew I was adopted. There wasn't a particular sit-down conversation. It was just the way that it was. Mm -hmm. um, because both my siblings are white, so I knew that I was different. Yeah, you yeah, know? I mean, that was just the way that it was. Yeah. So on your birth certificate, it says that both your parents were Caucasian. But then you look at yourself in a mirror, and then you're like, I have some questions yeah. about myself. What was oh. the biggest question that you had about yourself that you wanted answered? Oh, where did I come from? If, if, I, if I truly am white, how did this happen? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I mean, I, I, there was no way that I, I just didn't believe it, but I didn't know what to believe. Right, of and, course not. And that really sent me out on sort of my, my search. Yes. yes. Wow. And, and, and yet and still, you've been able to become so successful. You work for the Clinton Foundation. And it, it you know, I, I wonder if being adopted has kind of fostered your success. You know, have you kind of used that to kind of propel you into greatness? You know, or it's into interesting. wanting to be great. You know? Sure, sure. No, no, I would say what has propelled me into greatness is my decision to be in long-term recovery. Mm. Um, as part of the show last night, you'll see that uh, I turned to drugs to try to numb the pain. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so at 19 years old, I made the decision to uh, get clean. Right. And um, I've been clean for over 28 years. Yes. And yes. It's, uh, it's something that has really been the determining factor in all of my success. Well, we're amazing. really proud of your accomplishment Absolutely. with that because we know how much of a stronghold addiction can have on yeah. you. But you made a cognitive decision to know that you're much more than that. Mm -hmm. With that being said, what made you do the show, uh, Long Lost Family? What was the deciding factor for oh, that? Oh, well, it, it was very clear. I thought, I had sort of put this to bed, um, you know, 15 years ago, thinking mm -hmm. I, was, I was done. You know, I, I registered in New York State to see if my mother was on this registry. She was not, I found mm -hmm. out, and I thought she really didn't want to be found, and so I respected that. And then last year I went and saw a movie called Lion, mm -hmm. um, which is all about adoption. And then uh, I started watching the show uh, This Is Us, which mm -hmm. was like my story. Yes, yeah. yes. And then, uh, and then someone told me about the show Long Lost Family, and I started watching it each morning. And each morning I would watch it, I would put myself in the situation of the person that they were you know, telling their story mm -hmm. and asking myself those questions. Well, if that happened to me, how would I answer? Mm -hmm. You know, that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I just got to say, you know, with doing the show, and I'm so happy the show inspired you and motivated you because eventually you did find out who your biological mom is. What was that experience like for you? How did you feel? If you can put me in that emotion right now, what would that be like? 
It was incredible. It was absolutely incredible. When I saw her for the first time, I, I just, it was like an immediate connection. Really? In fact, it felt like my whole DNA got shifted like that. Really? Like wow. the whole, everything. Makes everything sense. Just, yeah. And, and, and I didn't have this hole that I had been trying to fill for yeah. years and years and years. L let me ask you really quickly. Were, were you angry or did no. you just say, you know what, I just Believed. want to give love and to be loved? That's it. That's it. It was all about love. And, and so your mother is Caucasian? Yep. Now... Obviously now, do you feel like, do you think, is my dad black or? Oh no, I, I know my dad's black. Oh, you do I've, know your dad's I've black. done, I've, I've, I know who my dad is. Oh wow. My dad passed away uh, in 2001 wow. um, due to type one diabetes. Mm. And so um, it answered a lot of questions for me too. My, my daughter uh, has type one diabetes and of mm. course being adopted, I never knew my health history. Yeah. So to be able to know that and have that answer was incredible, but um, yeah, so I know I know who he is, and and I've actually uh, been in touch now with uh, I have, I have five half siblings on his side of the wow. family, and three half siblings on my mother's side of the family. So I have like all this new family that I'm getting to know. Wow. So you've now found your entire family. Yeah. How how did doing the show? How did that change your life? It rearranged everything for me. It made me feel whole. It, mm -hmm. it left me feeling as though I wasn't walking around with this void. What's incredible is no matter how many, uh, you know, how many steps I work in my recovery program or how much therapy I mm -hmm. have, nothing would have filled it like walking into that room and seeing that woman on that couch. It went away like that. Wow. It's just, it's, and I can't, and for people who are adopted, I can't explain that. It just is something that happened so quickly, mm -hmm. but it was an amazing experience. Oh my God. Thank you so much, Christian. Your story yes. is, is extremely inspiring, and um, I hope that everyone will watch the show. Um, and you can uh, watch this, the show on TLC. It comes on on Sundays, and you can catch his story as well. Probably will run again, but um, if not, just keep following the show.